he's really got to find that release point out front, not just with the fastball, but maybe maybe use the breaking ball every once in a while when you can't find that release point. So I received this email today, and they wanted my perspective on this play, and so I'm going to give it. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. Now, I'll start off with saying I was not watching this game, so I'm just basing this off of what I see on this particular play. So we have Vanderbilt versus the University of Houston. It's the top of the fifth, one nothing game, 3-0 count. And we have the hitter here for Vanderbilt do something that I haven't really seen before. So 3-0 count, he obviously has a take here, but he does this little... Shuffle forward, shuffle back, shuffle forward, and we get ball four. So if you watch Vanderbilt or you were watching this game, let me know if he does this all the time, if he's done this before. I've personally never seen a batter move around in the box so aggressively on an automatic take. Things that I have seen, I've seen batters fake bunts. I've seen batters sometimes just stand there completely still. At lower levels, I've seen what I call the Little League fake bunt, where they wave the bat up and down to try to distract the pitcher. But I don't know if I've ever seen a hitter so aggressively jump around on the box like that before. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on 3-0 takes. And the Vanderbilt coaching staff is a lot smarter than me, so I'm not going to say that this is right or wrong. But I've always wanted our hitters to take a 3-0 pitch. If I give them an automatic take where they cannot swing at the ball, I've always wanted them to go through their normal timing routine. So I want them to take their load, their stride. I want them to time up everything like they're going to swing they're just going to take and the reason i have them do that is twofold one it's a free opportunity again to time up the fastball so let's say they do it and they take the pitch and it's a strike well now it's three one and chances are we're going to get another fastball so we've already gotten on time for the fastball and now we should theoretically be even more on time for that three one fastball that we can drive the second thing is i don't want the umpire to know that we were automatically taking i've always been a believer that if you automatically take and you show that you have no interest whatsoever in a 3-0 count to swing, that the umpire tends to give the pitcher a ball that maybe might be considered a ball typically, but they'll give them a strike on a 3-0 count if they feel the hitter has no intention at all of swinging. Now, I'm not saying every umpire will do that, but I have seen umpires widen the zone on 3-0, especially when they know a hitter isn't swinging. And that's why I've never been a fan of, again, the Little League wagging the bat around because one you're not getting your timing down and two you're letting the umpire know that i have no intention of swinging the bat at all and i just feel like they're going to call a strike on a borderline pitch that maybe they call a ball if they feel the hitter has an intention of swinging at it but takes it because they believe it's a ball and i know some people that would be upset at this, watching the hitter jump all over the place. I know some pitchers would take exception to it. Some people would probably even consider it Bush League. Again, I don't know why he's doing it. I can't really see an advantage in doing it. I don't think at this level it's going to distract the pitcher. And that's why I'm interested to see your comments down below. So please put them down there. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Give it a thumbs up. Share with all your friends. All that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.